So what is a dedicated AI coprocessor? So CPU versus the Halo 8 for, for AI tasks, right? So a CPU can do anything. But again, it's more tuned towards sequential workloads, you know, minor parallelization. You know, we can only do four tasks at a time on the Raspberry Pi 5, just because it is quad core. So at the end of the day, it can do a little bit of parallel processing, but not in the kind of scale that we need in order to make AI efficient. So they require doing millions of repetitive math calculations for neural networks. So a dedicated NPU, as it's called, uh, like the Halo 8, is specifically designed for that. So the disadvantages, like when you run AI on a CPU, you'll get high P CPU utilization and it'll often just be pinned at 100% and you'll be waiting and waiting for whatever you're trying to process to come back. Has slower interface feed, speed, so low frames per second, especially if you're trying to do video, which tends to consume quite a bit, uh, as well as it uses more power for the same equivalent task because it's trying to kind of convert down, down convert and make it a uh, simpler operation and then do it repetitively which uses a lot of power so the systems can become unresponsive or when the cpu is bogged down or it could just consume all of your resources and everything else grinds to a halt or loses priority as a result so offloading ai to the halo 8 you get very low cpu utilization which is usually less than about five percent it's massively faster interface speeds for real-time performance, extremely power efficient as far as tops per watt than you can get with a CPU. And it frees up the CPU uh, for the OS and other applications. So it, it makes it so you can now do even more with your Raspberry Pi, like hosting uh, web servers and things like that, or being able to do recording of video and other things so it definitely makes a huge difference in terms of uh, what you can do with the pie itself